This is a review and unboxing of set 7313 Red Planet Protector from the Life on Mars line, which is a sub-theme of space. It was released in the year 2001 and retailed for $20, and according to the box, is 194 pieces. This is probably the most nostalgic set in the line for me, so I'm very excited to be unboxing it again today. On the top of the box, we see our Martian included, Centauri. Info on the left side. Shot of the cockpit on the right side. Barcode on the bottom. And then some shots on the back showing how to quickly transform it into a flying vehicle. Unsurprisingly, it opens with punch tabs on the back, so let's go ahead and get into it. And these are definitely the thickest boxes with punch tabs that I've opened. As you can see, pressing it in here bent the entire side. And then I wasn't even able to get enough leverage to pop this second tab down at the bottom here. So here's everything included. We've got a large perforated bag of pieces, a medium bag of pieces, and a small bag of pieces. We've also got a LEGO Shop at Home letter, a 2001 mini catalog that I've gone through before, so I'll link to that video in the description if you want to see this. And finally, the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and get to building. So here's the completed set, and here's our one minifigure, Centauri, and this may be because of my nostalgia, but I definitely think he's one of the best Martians. I like the way the blue and the dark turquoise look together, and I think his face print is one of the most realistic and mature that we've seen so far. So here we can see Centauri scaled to the mech, and then it's pretty much exactly the same size as the Recon Mech RP on the left here, although they definitely went with some different design choices overall. I like the addition of these side fans and guns here, makes the whole build feel bigger, and unfortunately we lose a lot of articulation in the arms that the Recon Mech RP had, although I do like the use of these hinges to lock the arms in place, because you can just lift those up, and then you can bend these arms freely like that, and that mechanic works for both arms. We also see again for the third time the use of these rubber hoses for detailing. And again, we've got blue, sand blue, dark gray, and light gray as our colors. A mini figure fits in the cockpit just like this. And unfortunately, there's no control panel on the inside. You just get this bar to hold on to. And then we do have some printed pieces on the outside. We got this one right here on the top of the canopy. These two grill prints on the legs. And then these Martian looking slopes on the feet. And finally, the transformation looks like this. So here's the transform vehicle. And while it's a lot smaller than the Recon Mech's transformation, I appreciate that there's a lot more to it than just moving the legs around. You get an entirely new looking vehicle. Adjusted for inflation, the set would have retailed for $28.74 in 2018, which I feel is a bit steep. However, used prices have it at $11.81, which is definitely reasonable. And I'm not surprised that the price of this one is a little bit lower than the red one. I think the Recon Mech's just a little bit better, apart from the transformation of this one. Anyways, those are my thoughts. Thanks for watching.